Alright guys, so you're probably wondering why I have the title of this video as my last sneaker unboxing. And I'll keep it straight up with you guys from the start. It's not exactly what it seems like. I did do that just so I can get a little bit more attention to this video because I really want to get everybody's attention to let you guys know about the future of this channel. This is not the last sneaker unboxing, but before you get mad or before you leave or before you hit that thumbs down, the reason why I say this is my last sneaker unboxing is because this is my last sneaker unboxing with the schedule that I've been using on this channel, which is uploading every other day. See, I, I haven't enjoyed that at all and it's made me be very uncomfortable consistent and it's made me disappoint a lot of people the first year which was from September 2015 wait by the way we are gonna unbox sneakers in this video I'm not just gonna sit here and talk the whole time from September of 2015 to September of 2016 crew kicks was my it was my baby it was my child and I uploaded five days a week for like so many weeks consecutive and then I missed the day and then I kind of like after I went on tour I kind of like messed up and, and then I kind of lost focus but we still finished out that first year very very strong after September I just kind of was like whatever I didn't care if I missed the day or not uploaded still a couple times a week but it wasn't anything consistent so I made the BS thing saying okay every other day and I thought I was gonna enjoy that but I just don't I just don't I forget about it and I don't want to do that I want to grow this channel because it's only been a year it's been a year and what two three months like this channel has potential to do amazing things if I want it to here's the good news so that hopefully this makes you not hate me for writing this is my last sneaker unboxing for the title starting this week i am no longer uploading every other day here on crew kicks i'll be uploading four days a week monday tuesday thursday friday so we're not going to upload on wednesdays and we're not going to upload on weekends so we're just going to skip wednesdays to give me time to prepare thursdays and fridays videos and i'll have the weekend to prepare myself for monday and tuesdays videos and i promise you guys from this point on i will get back to grinding for this channel i want to create this content i want to show you guys my passion for sneakers and I want you guys to rock with me so dream crew family I'm sorry for the lack I'm not gonna sit here and talk anymore because crew kicks is less talk more sneakers so with that being said welcome to crew kicks so this is how it's gonna go I got two packages right here this one's kind of interesting because it came from Portland Oregon so that makes me Wonder what the hell it could be. So we're gonna open this one first and I know it's I know it's a pair of sneakers I've had a really bad day when I came home and I saw all this I was sneakers really lift my spirits It's my it's my hobby. It's it's what makes me happy So I'm really happy that I was able to get these waiting for me at my door, whatever they may be so <gasps> What <laughs> They don't I don't understand. I know what this is, but I don't know how they got my address. I have not ever given Adidas my address. Did this come from, I think this came from Adidas directly, like not from like Foot Locker or Champs or anything. Guys, <laughs> look at this. I was literally about to buy this sneaker like a few days ago. I tried them on at the store. They didn't have my size. I tweeted how good they were, like how comfortable they were and how excited I was to play in them. And now they're at, they were at my door. Hopefully there's a note inside. This is crazy, okay. It's not my size. Oh my God. These are a size 10 and a half. When I tried them on at the store, I tried on a 10 and the 10 was too big. So these are gonna be way too big on me, but damn, this is crazy. The fact that they just sent it to me. Hopefully there's a n What? Look at this. I really don't know where these came from. I don't know who, if Adidas said it to me. 66 of 150 right here. I, don't know, I think that's what it says. We got the James Harden volume one. This is like a little magazine. And then we've got some stickers. Hell yeah. Some stickers right there. That's so dope. Maybe James Harden sent me these personally. I don't know. We've got the James Harden logo. This was like his promo when he first signed with Adidas. When they showed up outside of his house with the box filled with, uh, or a truck filled with his sneakers. How did Adidas get my address? I don't ever remember giving them my address. I think this is my favorite page right here. That's pretty dope right there. I love the stickers, man. This is, I love the stickers. This is freaking dope. Very grateful and blessed to have this. This is the first product that Adidas has sent to my door. Okay, and then we got this little cover right here. Another James Harden. This is pretty tight. You can make a thumbnail out of this. Okay, let's see what colorway they sent me. I'm pretty sure they sent me the original first colorway that came out. 
So, I am correct. Alright guys, so we got the James Harden Volume 1 right here. This is his first signature sneaker ever. Not just with Adidas, ever. I spoke very highly of this sneaker on my Twitter and I got a pair now, man. So I'm very grateful for that. I'm just kind of low-key crapped out that they are a size too big, but I'm probably either going to give these away and go buy my own pair and then put them in this box with the special packaging or I'm going to give these to a friend. So I will decide what I'm going to do with these. And if this vlog can get 30,000 thumbs up, I'll give away this sneaker right here and I will go buy my own. So I'm not going to disrespect Adidas for giving me a sneaker. Uh, I just want my size. So I'm going to go buy my own. Let me tell you guys a little bit of something about the shoe is the whole front toe of the shoe is leather. The lacing system on the shoe, that's what kind of threw me off at first. I didn't know if I was going to like it, but they fit very snug and I love that. You know I got to speak about this because this is the main reason why I even wanted to try these shoes out is because boost baby when you take on the most comfortable cushioning system in the world and you throw it on a basketball shoe game over they covered the boost with a rubber outsole obviously to give you that grip and let me tell you guys something very interesting i just hit myself in the face let me tell you guys something very interesting about the let me tell you guys something very interesting about the bottom of the shoe. See, the the pattern that you guys see here, they got this pattern based off of James Harden's actual foot movements in a real NBA game. So what they did last year, they took a regular white, um, what is that shoe called? I forgot what the shoe is called, but they took a regular white shoe that James Harden was playing in and they put like either X's or dots or something on that shoe and they basically did some crazy technology to figure out how his foot moves. So this is made perfectly for how he plays, which I'm assuming is gonna be perfect for all of us because regardless of how he plays or how we play, this thing is made to be very good on the basketball court. I just realized since I got the James Harden Adidas from Adidas, I actually have another package right here which I personally ordered from Adidas. And I'm not going to open the Champ Sports one up just because uh, I don't know what that is. So whatever. Yeah, so this one came out. I woke up and they were still available on adidas.com surprisingly because it's a sneaker with boosts. I love the colorway. A lot of people are not feeling the colorway, but I really love this colorway. As you guys can see, there's no packing slip. As you guys can see, we got the Ultra Boost box right here. Let's go ahead and get into it because less talk, more sneakers. I know a lot, there's gonna be a lot of mixed feelings in the comment section down below. Ooh. <gasps> Wow, these are so much nicer in person, dude. All right, hold on. We gonna have a discussion here. That was really bad. We gonna have a discussion here. This is, I'm gonna admit right now, this is not your average acceptable combination of colors together. Orange with this khaki upper. But when you see this in person, compared to images, you see the vibe, you you understand it, and you appreciate it more. First of all, let's start out with the continental bottom. Off-white continental bottom, kind of like a khaki cream, very sexy. The boost midsole is orange, orange is my favorite color. I appreciate colored boost, because colored boost is not something we come across very often. Adidas is very selective to when they release a boost with any type of color. When I do come up on a pair of colored boost, I. I appreciate it way more than your average boost because a lot of boost sneakers, mainly Ultra Boost and NMDs, it's a white boost without it being painted. Let me get into this because this upper is beautiful. It is a khaki color, but if you really look closely, which I didn't even see in images, is there's a very, very light army green in here. You have to really get into that. It's the same color of these lace tips, if you can see that. The lighting is very dark in here because it's night. Wow, Adidas knew what they were doing when they released this, and a lot of people hating on this colorway. But if you see this in person, I, I guarantee you, you might not want to buy it, but you will say it's nice. I'm gonna let that one slide. So yeah, so we got two dope Adidas sneakers right now. Killing the game right now. I'm excited, man. I Hello, not yet. Guess what? Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are sticking with me on this new format on Crew Kicks where we upload four days a week. That's Monday, Tuesday, skip Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So join the crew. I'll see you guys on Thursday with a new video and I'm out of here. Peace. Hello.